Good evening. I'm Enari Darklor and welcome to Chiriqua. Tonight, in our ninth episode, we will listen to the legend of the Trick Street from Guanajuato, Mexico. And uh, greetings to our subscriber, Ale Garduño, who asked for this legend. Barely I remember when this street had its original name, Los Guadalajareños Street. Many men from abundant fortunes were gathering in a house where gambling was a masterpiece. Either you had a great fortune nor certain reputation weren't allowed to come in. It was here that great games of cards and gambling were known and some more dangerous were played, those known as the trick. Don Ernesto was a gambling man, so he usually attended that place. We saw him on his road to the place, greeting us, and without knowing more, we became witnesses of how many men lost their assets and fortunes, turning into beggars wearing elegant clothes. He was considered a lucky man. He had been gambling a lot, and one day his luck changed. A handsome but mysterious man who was not from here. His clothing looked opulent and expensive. I remember seeing him on the street walking luxuriously and asking where that house was and coming in there. As I knew a little time later, due to an acquaintance who used to work there, Don Ernesto looked very interested and started a game with a stranger. With the course of time, just Don Ernesto and the stranger are still in the game. They played plenty of games, one after another after another, until Don Ernesto finished without any other thing except the clothes he was wearing, starting to regret, and on the edge of weeping, he asked one more game to recover some of his assets. Then the stranger saw his despair and said, I see you have lost all you have and you still want to play? What could a man who has lost all his fortune, wealth and assets bet? Something, something might be. After thinking a little, the stranger did him an offer, whispering on his ear. Don Ernesto just answered, No, please, have mercy on me. Mm, so then, there is no deal. So, is not there anything else you can offer? After thinking a little, and with a trembling voice, he accepted. The game advanced with the pass of cards and hands until the stranger made his final game, beating Don Ernesto, screaming in despair, My beloved wife! In that moment, the unbelievable took place. The stranger exuded heat and a sickening and rotting odor, claiming being the devil himself. He dragged Don Ernesto out of the place. Little is known about Don Ernesto, yet that night he vanished and no one else neither knew nor saw him again. Some of us wonder if he took his own life. Others that he went to that he went to the private areas of the city to beg and die. And 
other people who claim that the devil took him with him a little time later. The beating house was closed days after Don Ernesto's disappearance. Not to mention that after that many employees from it refused to attend telling the devil was surrounding the place. Years passed and few people claimed to see a shadow, a hooded man, desperately knocking at the door that formerly was the betting house, asking for one more game. I did not believe it until I dared to see it by myself. I went through that street and once after sunset I saw a hooded man passing through that street knocking at the door from what was the betting house before I came closer and certainly scared but my curiosity was bigger at the time of touching him it dispelled as haste